What's happening, Expeditioners? It's Peter here. I want to tell you about a little trick going through TSA airport security that I just found out here. So you are familiar that you can only take, what is it, 3.2 ounces or 3.4 ounces of a liquid or gel through airport security. And that's because of the dangerous liquids and gels that can go through there in quantity and wreak havoc. So usually you are conditioned that you've got a little bottle of shampoo, a little bottle of hand cream, a little bottle of buttercream frosting. So you get that through security, but you are probably wanting to take maybe your favorite drink, a little Gatorade, a Powerade, a bottled water, something like that. But obviously those big bottles, those 12, 10, 16 ounce bottles are not going to get through security. They're going to get you extra screening, a little touchy touchy all over your body. And you don't want that just for that bottled water. I mean, if you do, then it's a great way to get the little physical contact, but for the rest of us who are just trying to get through security quickly and without getting headed down to the hilt, what I would suggest is that you can actually freeze your drinks. So your liquids that are frozen, frozen solid, mind you, you can get those through TSA security. So if you're going to freeze those drinks at home, I do have some suggestions. One, you want to make sure that you put them in something that will keep them frozen on your way to the airport, depending on how long you have, on how warm the weather is and how warm your car is and how warm your luggage is they may actually turn back to liquid before you get through security. So you want to make sure that they're frozen solid. And this is actually because apparently liquids that are explosive or corrosive or dangerous don't typically freeze. If you think about something like gasoline, the temperatures that it takes to freeze gasoline are extremely, extremely low. So not something that could normally stay frozen at room temperature. The other thing that I've noticed here is that some of the water bottles, like this little Gatorade bottle, has fluting on the side, these little pockets that squeeze in. I've noticed that with some of the water bottles that they have some ridges, some expansion areas and so when you do freeze these they do balloon out but they don't explode and so something that's really rigid like glass or an algae bottle would, but i think that a lot of juice makers and drink makers are creating bottles that are designed to be a little bit more rugged a little bit more forgiving and maybe even freezable so that they don't explode and so sometimes if you find them like this you can actually freeze them and they will expand and get deformed a little bit but they still won't explode and leak on you so that's kind of nice so what you can do here is get some of your favorite drinks through securities this will do you a couple of things one it will help you get the drink of your choice on your trip, which might make your trip just a little bit more enjoyable. But two, it will probably save you a ton of money. If you go through security and buy a drink or a pop or a soda in the concourse, it's probably going to be four bucks for your typical 12 ounce soda. And so, and so bringing a bunch of drinks like this, especially if you have a big contingent, a long trip can save you a ton of money. So that is my suggestion to stay hydrated with your favorite drink on your next trip through the airport. Get them frozen. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you later.